The hard-throwing right-hander, the 28-year-old out of the Dominican Republic, Frankie Motas. He is 2-1 and one on the year, a 4-9-1 ERA, but in his last two outings where he has gone heavy with the fastball, he's allowed one run over the course of 12-plus innings and back-to-back wins against the Astros and the Tigers. So here's Arise, swung out of miss, gets him with a splitter. Arise strikes out, and that's the way our ball game begins. One down, and that'll bring up Josh Donaldson. Josh Donaldson's numbers at the Coliseum since he left there, and they have been pretty good. OPS of over one. As Donaldson hammers one to left field and deep, back it goes, deep it goes, and gone. Donaldson first pitch ready on cue. Josh Donaldson goes deep, and it's 1 nothing. Here's Nelson Cruz, who's batting at 348. Pops it up mile high. Man, is that a high pop. Left to home plate Murphy and, and uh, Chapman, and Matt comes down with the angle. So Cruz has popped out, and that's out number two. That'll bring up Byron Buxton. Line drive into right field, down the line deep, slicing, fading, and that's fair. One hops off the wall. Byron to second base. He will put on the brakes and hang up there. That's a two out double. And here's Polanco. Lifted a left field, playable for Canna. About two steps toward the line, he makes the catch. Kent Tamaeda's on the mound today for the Twins. On the mound for his fourth start. One and one ERA, just over three. And it's his first time facing Oakland Athletics. Mark Canna leads off. Check swing, ground ball. Gets by Maeda. It's rolling out to second. Base arrives, bare hands, and throws him out. So rise skillfully. Making that play. If Arise went to his glove, he would not have had time to throw out Canna. So good defense right away from the Twins. One to nothing. Base is empty. And now Loriano. So Loriano strikes out swinging. Chase the slider off the outside corner. And the batter is Lowry. Pulled sharply right side from shallow right. Arise, the second baseman, throws out Lowry. And that's a 1 2 3 shutdown inning from Maeda. Sliding into second with a double is Rooker. So the Twins already have their third extra base hit. So here's the catcher, Ryan. Jeffers coming up. Wings it's a ground ball left side. Charge it short. Elvis has it. Throws the first for the out. And the inning is over. So Rooker left at second. And Olsen's going to lead it off. Olsen with a grand slam yesterday. When you're getting a look at how Maeda wants to go about his business with these lefties. And maybe even specifically the big bopper here, Ole. Nothing hard. A lot of soft stuff trying to stay out of the middle. Think about the way Maeda's been throwing the ball early on here. Seven pitch first inning. He'll take an extended at bat. A good battle here just to kind of chip away at him. The 2-2 again to Matt. Swung on. High five ball. Right center field. The right fielder Rooker going back. He's at the track. He's right to the wall and Olsen has hit it out again. Do your job. You stay in the fight. You finally get a cement mixer over the middle. It ties the ball game at 1-1 in the bottom of the second. And he is sizzling hot. Moreland hit by a pitch round. Single to right center. And the ASF runners at the corners. And the number nine hitter Elvis Andrus. Maeda Throws. That's a line drive center field base hit on the first pitch. Two to one A's as Moreland scores, and the A's have the lead. Well, here is Loriano. Big spot early in this game. A's two, Twins one. Bases loaded, two outs. And the ball to the backstop, and the A's get another run as Seth Brown slides in head first. It's three to one. Rise at second, nobody out. Here's Donaldson now. And the 3 0 pitch. He swings. It's a drive to left on a line. That's a base hit. A rise to third base. He is coming in to score. And the Twins are back to within one. The batter is Nelson Cruz. One for his last 10. 0 for 6 in this series. Swinging a drive. Left field and deep. Back it goes. Deep it goes and gone. Twins take the lead on a 3-2 hanger. 4-3 Twins in the third. A leadoff double from Lowry. He's the tying run as Matt Olson stands in. And he skies one to center. Back is Buxton. Takes a look. Up it goes and gone. Matt Olson is smoking hot, and the A's are back in front. They lead it 5-4. to four. Now Seth Brown stands in. Down the right field line, headed for the corner, and that baby's gone. Seth Brown unloads on Kenta Maeda, and it's 7-4 for Oakland. A lot of hard-hit balls in this series finale. So here's Nelson Cruz leading off against Montas. Hit high and deep again to left center field. And over the wall and over the reach of Loriano. Nelson Cruz hits his second of the afternoon. Twins are within two. Now the Twins have runners at second and third and still nobody out. That gets away and Buxton will score. And it's seven to six. And the time run now 90 feet away. Here's Jake Cave. And again, the is play the infield in. And that gets under the glove of Lowry. 
And Polanco will score the tying run. And it's 7 7. Man, and the Twins have runners at the corners and nobody out. Nelson Cruz dangerous. The ground ball, the runner was going. It's going to be a out at first base. Arise is going to score. And the Twins lead 8 to 7. Two down, and the batter's going to be Polanco. Slap to left and a base hit. Donaldson comes in. The two out hit they were looking for, and the Twins lead it 9 to 7. They are wearing out Romo. And a line drive, base hit to the left field. Polanco around third, he's heading home. Another two out RBI hit, this time from Ostadio. So get in the score position and give Mark Cannon an opportunity. The ball's bounced toward third. Donaldson tried to tag, gets the ball caught in his glove and everybody's safe. Donaldson got it caught in the webbing, couldn't get it out. The inside runners are second and third. Jed Lowry coming up for the Athletics against the left-hander Taylor Rogers. That one is driven right center field. Nobody's going to get it. It's going to bring home a pair. And the A's are down by a run. 10-9 Minnesota in the sixth. Here's Olsen. Now a blast to left center field. Buxton with a diving catch in center. Oh, what a catch by Byron Buxton. Preserving the lead. A tremendous catch by Buxton to keep the Twins up. 10 to 9. And Matt Olson right there lets him know why me? Why here? Why right now? Alexander Colome will try to pick up the save in a one run game. And the A's have runners at first and third with one out in the bottom of the ninth. And now Matt Chapman bats in a 10 9 game. The A's winning streak is on the line. Swung a lifted to right field, high in the air down the right field line. Rooker going back in the corner, fair or foul, and it's foul. Barely so. So much for the sack fly. That was almost a three run walk off. We'll do it again. One and two. Swings a line drive to left. Cave coming on. He's there. Makes the catch. Lariano tags. He's going to score. And the ball game is tied. Sack fly ties the game at 10 10 in the bottom of the ninth. Well, Byron with an opportunity to leave even more fingerprints on this game. And the first pitch, a swing and a fly ball, left center field and deep. Back it goes, deep it goes and gone. Adding to that day, what was good is now even better. A 10th inning two run blast from Buxton, and the Twins have a 12 10 lead in the 10th at the Coliseum. How much more can he do in one baseball game? Oh, there's still more baseball to be played. And that loads him up for Mark Canna. 40 pitches by Colomay. Weekly hit on the right side to his left. The rookie bobbles it, drops it, no play. A run is in. So the new second baseman, Blankenhorn, had a chance to end the game, and he booted it. It's a 12-11 game. Oh, man. And now base is loaded for Ramon Laureano. Suddenly the winning run is Elvis at second base. The tying run, Kemp at third. Ground ball to third. Glove by Arise. Sets his feet. Throws wide. Oh, no. Leo, and the oh. A's are going to win the game. He throws it away. And the A's have won it. Two errors in the inning by the Twins. And the A's winning streak is at. 11 incredible and the luck and everything that's going right for the A's just continues unbelievable there is a wave going on and we're all going <laughs> to jump on and ride it